Well, this is gonna be a fun one for sure. What we've got today is a little bit of urban fishing behind some businesses in a park here in Northern Virginia using one of my favorite lures. This place is going to be jam-packed with people and we're using one of my favorite things, the trout magnet for this micro urban fishing. We're gonna see what exists inside of this stream here in Northern Virginia and what types of things you can find just fishing in some of these urban parks and behind some business buildings. Let's have some fun. Let's see what we get on. Now, I don't usually buy too many trout magnets, but what you want to do is for the rigging, you just put it right through that little end with the jig head, and then you just push it right through, and you want to get the hook to come right out between the tail. You should end up with it nice and straight, just like that, allowing this tail to kind of flutter. Like I said, this is micro fishing, and I assume it's gonna be a lot of bluegill, little panfish, and maybe even another little surprise, but I've caught some bass on this. I've caught a lot of different species on this. We're gonna see what this can do today. So what I realized is that a lot of people live in these high traffic kind of areas where urban fishing might be one of your only options. So I'm gonna just throw this trout magnet through here. One of my favorite ways to just do it is to just put a little first cast right there is to put a little weight on the end, but you might not even need that. And then just kind of either wind it or just uh, jig it along the bottom. Like I said, I assume it's gonna be just a lot of little bluegill through here, but I might be surprised with some other things. Now, I don't have exactly the most time to be fishing today because I know there's a thunderstorm coming through. What do we have here? Got ourselves a little creek chub. First on the board is a really neat little creek chub. Very cool, buddy. Very cool micro fishing for you. See you later. I think coming a little bit closer to the water might be helpful. Especially coming off that little current right over there. Got the second guy on the micro fishing. Another little creek chub. All right, man. Off he goes. Thanks, buddy. Now there's no signage saying like I can't be here and there's no signage saying like you can't fish or no parking or anything, but I'm directly behind some office buildings right now. and This is like a really deep hole. So I'm just kind of curious what in the world could be in this water. Got a really big little creek chub. A little bit of a oxymoron there. Very cool, buddy. Thank you. All right. Well, let's see if there's anything else throughout here. Kind of nasty water. Just kind of let it sink and put a couple of jigs and. I think it's just a lot of those little creek chubs. All right, we got ourselves a little panfish, a little bluegill type. Very cool, man. <laughs> very, very cool. All right, so second species doing this micro fishing with the trout magnet. It's a fun little, fun little way to do things. And buddy, we'll see you later. Now just to add to a little bit of this urban fishing fun, I'm uh, parked at the police station right now and really nice people in there. He just said, yeah, go ahead and park here. You walk around back and so that's cool. Ask for where you can park. That's a big thing about urban fishing is like actually finding the access points to it. If you're gonna do it, you might as well ask, especially if it's at a police station. There's something, another little creek chub. Definitely the biggest of the day so far. 
really cool colors. Sign of the streams, I guess, mildly healthy. All right, buddy. <laughs> very cool. We're happy to have you. We're very happy to throw you back. What do we have here? A neat little sunfish, a really neat little bluegill. Look at him. All right, buddy. You've just engulfed this. Very cool, little sunfish. Throw him back. All right, man. Never know what you're gonna catch when you're doing little fishing like this. Now I completely understand this is not my usual style of fishing. Going for a creek chub with a trout magnet or something or whatever, but it's definitely fun to find these little, little uh, patches of just fun. Beats sitting on the couch and you're playing outside. We got ourselves a little, uh, little bluegill fella. All right, buddy. Very cool. We'll take you. See ya. Now, I did want to do a whole video with just a trout magnet, and genuinely. I'm not the biggest fan of just trout fishing with a trout magnet. I mean, maybe I will eventually, depending on what anybody wants to see. If you want to see that, great. <laughs> see you, buddy. If not, that's cool too. I think fishing with uh, trout fishing with just a trout magnet might be prove a little bit too much for me. I'm such a fan of fishing with spinning gear. And I do like fishing with a trout magnet on occasion for some finicky trout where they need, you need to kind of pop it along the bottom like this, but it's not always my favorite. This thing about micro fishing with the trout magnet is there's really not too much to getting that out. Oh, wow. That is a big old bluegill. All right, man. Best catch of the day. That's pretty good for micro fishing in some urban areas. Look at him. Oh, he has been feasting on something. Buddy. Very cool, man. A little chub. There's a deer snorting at me over there. Hey deer, back up buddy. I'm fishing. For, the, for those of you who've never been close enough to a deer, if you get too close, we'll start snorting at you like that. Urban deer and urban fish. A little creek chub, put your back. There's a big bluegill. That's a big old bluegill. Now, I'm, I like I've said before, people out there, oh, it's a red-breasted sunfish, buddy. Yeah, dude, it's you see the bluegill? That's a bluegill. Doesn't really matter. It's a panfish. <laughs> They're fun to catch. If you can't get have the chance to actually go out and do some other fishing, if the time is just kind of not right better than sitting on the couch you know even when you're you know walk off into the woods a little bit you just have all these business parks and all this just surrounding you so it's just kind of such pseudo nature trying to urban fish but it's fine it works out well enough
Oh, I hope that wasn't poison ivy. Crud. May have been some poison oak or something. Gosh dang. Just had to wear a cutoff and shorts today. Probably should have gone with jeans. At least a t-shirt. Wee little, wee little bluegill. Buddy is tiny. Dude, looks like he was eating something though. I mean, he's, that's him compared to my trout magnet. See you, man. And I've reached about the end of my little walking trail here in Northern Virginia, but there's this one final hole. There's a nice little path down to it. And we'll try to see if there's anything sitting within it. Let's put it right up under those trees. And it is the tiniest of creek chubs. The tiniest. <laughs> Man, they're fun. It's definitely more fun to put on some big fish, but <laughs> these are something to <laughs> just kind of a fun little time waster, man. So if you're ever wondering, can I go out into the backyard of a city or something like that, find some stream, what's a good lure to use? How do you do it? You can absolutely do it. And like I said, it beats sitting around, sitting on your couch. Well, everyone, there it is. A little bit of urban microfishing here in Northern Virginia, behind the H&R Block, behind the police station, on this little walking trail they have here. Super fun. Better than sitting around on the couch all day. So if you like these videos, if you like the micro fishing, if you like the urban fishing, like, comment, subscribe. Even if you don't, like, comment, subscribe. Help me out. Beyond that, everybody keep tight lines. Have a wonderful time out there. Best of luck. And remember, even Jesus had a fishing story.